BioV is a clinical stage company developing innovative drug therapies for neurological and also neurodegenerative disorders. And with me is the CEO, Kong Do, and also advisory board member, Kush Saxena. Great to have you here. So, Pleasure to be. Um, Kong, let's start with you. So I see BioV recently enrolled uh, your first patient in the trial for long COVID. So bring us up to date on where that stands. Yes, we're, we just enrolled the first patient. We're trying to enroll a total of about 200 patients to see if our drug candidate, Bezisterum, could help address the conditions of brain fog, fatigue, and malaise that are associated with long COVID, right? And since there's no therapy out there for long COVID patients, we're hoping this could become the first therapy that could do something to help these patients. Now, we don't hear much about COVID anymore. I mean, certainly compared to 2020. Um, how big of a problem is this still? Yes, I think the world had just assumed that COVID has gone and disappeared. But the reality is that there are 300,000 new cases of COVID every single day in the United States right now. Right. And there are about 35,000 new cases of long COVID each month in the U.S. And it's so debilitating as well. There are 17 million Americans right now who have long COVID. And since there's no treatment for it, the conditions are really terrible, such that three to four million Americans have had to change their jobs just because they can no longer put up with the physical demands of their job simply because they have fatigue, malaise, and brain fog. Well, and I do know some people still have brain fog that had COVID a few years ago. So uh, when do you expect to have results from this trial? We're hoping to have first top-line results by first or second quarter of next year. Okay. And then I understand you have another clinical trial underway for Parkinson's. So bring me up to date on... We are enrolling... Parkinson's patients who need to go into therapy for the first time to see if Bezisterm could hope to delay the progression of their disease, right? We're trying to enroll 60 patients and that trial is underway as well. And then, so this is Bezisterm. Yeah. Um, how is that different from the other drugs that are on the market that treat Parkinson's? We hope that this actually would be a very different drug and become the first new therapy for Parkinson's since levodopa was introduced over five decades ago. Right. Levodopa remains the standard of care today for Parkinson's patients, but it doesn't help slow the disease. What it does is it helps alleviate the symptoms of Parkinson's. But as the disease progresses, you end up having to take more and more of levodopa. And the problem is when you take more and more levodopa, it goes on to create a condition called levodopa-induced dyskinesia, which is that trembling that you see many Parkinson's patients have. Right, so it doesn't slow the progression of the disease. For Bezisterum, in our preclinical studies in non-human primates, at the end of those studies, when we looked at the brains in these monkeys, we saw that those that were treated with Bezisterum retained twice as many neurons, suggesting that the drug has a neuroprotective property to it. Right? And our trial, hopefully over time, will hope to show that by preserving those neurons, we actually can delay the progression of the disease. So this trial is just the first step in hoping to show that we can actually modify the progression of disease, which then would become the first new, truly unique mechanism, the true first new therapy for Parkinson's in over five decades. Well, that would be fascinating. And when do you expect to have those results? We're hoping to have that as of by the end of this year or early part of next year as well. Okay. And you recently announced an advisory board with some very impressive members. Do um, you want to talk about that? Wait, what was the reason for the advisory board? What's that strategic? You know, at the end of the day, we're a small company with a small team who know what we know, right? We're good at developing drugs, but we don't know what we don't know. Right. And so we decided to advise to create this advisory board just to get the insights and benefit and guidance from people who know a lot of other things, financial strategy, communications, and so forth. So we actually have a very impressive advisory board um, that has agreed to help us, right? And so we're looking forward to getting from their bit, their insights and advice. So let's talk to one of those advisory board members. Uh, Kush, um, you have been with MasterCard and Santander Bank. You've launched your own function ventures, fintech company. Um, explain what attracted you to BioV and, and do you have a connection with neurodegeneration? Sure, happy to do that. Uh, so the conditions that uh, BioV works on, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, uh, and long COVID, which I don't think we know a lot about, are debilitating conditions. They impact people's lives. They impact families' lives. And I think if you look at economic data, they impact families not just uh, in that generation, they impact families across generations. 
Uh, and so like a lot of us, uh, you know, I have friends, I have family that have been impacted by these. And I think uh, the mission calling was uh, very meaningful for me and for us at uh, Function Ventures. Uh, now, a lot of what we do is uh, support uh, bold founders uh, trying to uh, create big things that challenge the status quo. And Kang and BioE very much uh, fit that mission. Uh, you know, we've not seen a new drug in Parkinson's emerge in the last 50 years. I'm mostly a tech and a fintech guy, but I was blown away by sort of how slow the pace of innovation seems to be here. We've not seen uh, a new way of addressing Alzheimer's uh, in a long, long time. Uh, and so I think the work BioE is doing, the work Kung is doing on, uh, you know, focusing on neuroinflammation as a mechanism to come up with a novel solution for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, uh, I think that's uh, tremendous. And I'd say the last thing I'd say is uh, the quality of the advisory board, the individuals that we've got uh, on the advisory board, their credibility, people like uh, Tim Gardner, who was one of the co-founders of Neuralink, folks like Dr. Zaldi Tan, you know, a deeply, deeply eminent scientist in the space. Uh, their credibility, their passion for this spoke a lot uh, to me and spoke a lot to us. So, you know, this is something uh, we want to put all of our muscle behind. We want to help uh, come up with this because I think, uh, I think it can be life-changing uh, for, you know, the 300,000 patients have a lot more. Sure. And is that what you bring to the table, just kind of the spirit of innovation and knowledge of technology? So I'm helping, uh, my specific role on the advisory board spans uh, several areas. You know, uh, I'm mostly a financial services fintech and a tech guy. So I do a lot of support on uh, financial strategy, on capital market strategy, on uh, capital markets positioning, uh, maybe some new product ideas. Uh, overall, I'd say a lot of my work is focused on storytelling. I think this is a story that needs to be told. Uh, like Kang said, uh, you know, they're a small company, but they're trying something very, very meaningful. And any muscle we can put behind on storytelling, uh, overarchingly is sort of where, you know, we, I and the advisory board come in. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Trish, for coming. And Kang, thank you as well. I look forward to updates when you start to get some of these trial results in, so it'll be very exciting. All right, that's terrific. Great to be here, Dave. Thanks for having us. Pleasure to be here.